Hi guys, welcome to Tub Time. My name is Bria White and we are here in sunny Los Angeles, California talking about tubs. Now, not just any tubs, I'm talking tubs for ice baths. I'm a big fan of the Wim Hof method. You know Wim, the guy who can climb snowy mountains in nothing but his shorts and a headband? That guy. Not only am I a fan, but I'm also one of his certified instructors here in the United States. The method has gained quite a bit of popularity, and I've been super curious to know how people are getting their cold training in, especially in places like LA, where the weather is, well, frankly, always awesome. I know you've been curious as well, so I figured I'd start by showing you my tub. Let's go take a look. This is a 100-gallon aluminum tub wrapped in insulation. Full disclosure, this is not my creation. Credit goes to Quinn Hatfield, one of our Interfire Club members here in Los Angeles. Before chest freezers were a thing, Quinn made this bad boy. He gave me his tub after he upgraded to a chest freezer. This tub is large enough to stretch out in. I'm a little over five feet, six inches tall and fit fine. I've even had guys in as tall as 6'6", case in point, JD. He's a big dude, but all of his bits get covered. Oh, big boss. <laughs> now this is a picture of the tub before it was wrapped. It's for outside use. So to keep the sun off and the chill party going longer, Quinn put this reflective insulation all around it. Underneath that reflective layer, the tub is covered with garage door insulation, which happens to be the perfect width. The white side faces out and the pink side touches the tub. That insulation is taped with duct tape and the reflective layer is held together with reflective plumber's tape. Another nifty discovery to keep the heat from penetrating at the bottom, the tub is sitting on leftover pieces of one and a half inch foam insulation. Quinn said this was a eureka moment because the concrete and wood slabs the tub was originally sitting on was making the ice melt extremely fast. Moving to the inside of the tub, there were some seams at the bottom and the sides that leaked water initially. So Quinn sealed those with rubber wet patch roof cement. That's the black and gray stuff you see there. It worked out perfectly, no more leaks. There is a spout to siphon the water out from the bottom. However, when the ice is all melted, I find it much easier and faster to just bucket the excess water out and put it into the grass or garden. The lid, which provides another layer of insulation, is made of three quarter inch plywood. It also has drawer handles drilled in on either side for easy lifting. On top of the plywood, I put a thin half inch layer of that reflective foam for a little added sun protection. Flipping the top over, glued underneath is three inch thick foam insulation that gives the tub that snug fit. After all is said and done, the estimated cost of the tub comes in at around $350. During the summer months, I don't take ice baths every day because let's face it, that can get expensive. But when I do take the plunge, I put in roughly 200 pounds of ice. It will typically stay in the 30s for about three days and then start to slowly creep up. And for me, that's okay. Casper Vandermullen, head of the Wim Hof Academy says, the water doesn't have to be freezing to be effective. If it's 90 degrees outside and you jump into some water that's 50 or 60 degrees, your body still has to do a lot of work to adapt. And adapting to that stimulus is a big part of the work. I think that does it. I hope you guys found this video helpful. How are you getting your cold training in? I'd love to hear from you, so leave comments below. Until next time, my name is Bria White, wishing you guys lots of love and light. That would make a cool picture. <laughs>